Hooli dooly everyone, it's Ben Thompson here from Torch Productions, back at you with another director's cut. Today we're going over a video where I was actually up in an aeroplane. So here's some tips and tricks on how to shoot uh, while you're in an aircraft or just shooting aircraft in general. So without further ado, -do, let's get started. Hi, I'm Nicholas Christie and I love working with aviators just like you to help them buy and sell their next aircraft. So yeah, coincidentally, we, we were timing it up with the aeroplane. It took like six or seven takes, but um, it was a good laugh. Just thought that was pretty cool having the plane there in the background. The stabilization on the A7S III is great. I just walked backwards really slowly and smoothly to get him in nice smooth motion walking and talking. So that was all, that was all. With over 30 years. Uh, so here, first shot uh, shooting in an aeroplane. So when you're in there, it's way smaller than you may expect. I used like an 18 mil lens, but when you're up there, I, I still had to, even with the 18mm, I had to like lean against the window and like really pull back. So if you are shooting an aeroplane, use really wide lenses because uh, it's it's tiny, like really small. I shrunk the kids. What? And the Thompson kids too, they're about this big, they're in the backyard. The flying experience, including GA and ultralight categories and choppers, I know the industry well. And I also understand the freedom, joy, and utility that aircraft ownership brings. So, with those shots before of the, the pilot's logbook and everything, um, I just knew that if the video was going to be around two minutes, not everything can be in the hangars and everything. Like, it's about aircraft sales. So, I had to definitely add in some stuff about, you know, the actual salesman, Nicholas, great dude, loved working with him. Uh, so we went to his apartment and we filmed him, you know, doing stuff on his website on the iPad, you know, writing notes, um, all the stuff that he would usually do through an aircraft sale. I just got him to just run through the motions for me. I just said, pretend I'm not here, um, pretend like you're going through sale, jump on the phone, write down notes, whatever you usually do, just do it uh, and I'll, I'll film around him. So that's all the extra shots that aren't on the airfield they're all from that. So if you are doing something around a person in a location, it's always good to have a secondary location just to show things happening as they naturally would. Like no matter where you are, just get someone to run through the motions of their everyday work just, just because you never know if you might need it. And I definitely needed it here, so. So, fun fact, um, you'll actually see here, um, that's my business partner Brandon's hand because the the doors are actually too heavy to fall apart by yourself. So um, <laughs> so we we just had him behind the scenes there um, doing that. But I thought it had a pretty cool effect. Um, unfortunately, yeah, just on the sm camera's small LCD screen, I couldn't really see that his hand was there. So. Uh, if there's any gripe I have about that, it would have been better if I had a monitor attached to the camera. I really like these shots here just because it shows some depth for once, you know, because being an airfield, there's not a lot of stuff. It's just all a bit empty. There's no sort of foreground, background kind of thing. It's just kind of flat. So when we were around the aeroplane, I tried to get as many sort of interesting angles as I could. So I just, once again, I asked Nick to um, go through the motions of, uh, you know, servicing an aeroplane and doing the checklist before flying. Uh, and I think it came out really well. Flying is safe. We trust our aircraft systems and training to get us through. But when it comes to executing a risk-free transaction when buying or selling an aircraft, it's not always as easy as it sounds. And this is where my passion and experience comes into play. Whether you're a buyer or a seller, I've developed methods to get results quickly and effectively while mitigating risk. I know him as an aviator. I trust his knowledge. Okay, now, with this stuff, the, the, the dentist office, because he wanted a, a, a testimonial within the hero video just to, you know, uh, back him up with some authority. Um, and it was a really, really good guy, Dr. Derry Rogers. He was a cool dude. He's got a sick airplane. I think he's got a helicopter coming to it. Really cool dude. Uh, but the dentist office, you know, they don't look that great. It was really hard to get all the lights and stuff in there because it was pretty cramped. So, um, not overly happy with this, but it is crucial for the video, so it's all about a bit of sacrifice here and there. Reputation that comes before him, all of those added factors of the infrastructure that enabled me to sell the plane easily, without stress, at a price that was more than appropriate, I believe, just made the process very simple. 
Selling your aircraft with confidence and buying your aircraft with transparency should be a no-brainer. That's why I created lightaircraftsales.com.au, a marketplace to okay, help. So when I screen record things, I use OBS, which I'm actually using right now because it's free and uh, there's no sort of screen lag or anything. Just works really well if you need the portrait version. Uh, the iPhone's screen recording function is actually brilliant. I've never had a problem using that. So, and then I just airdrop it to my Mac for editing. So it's super simple, especially when you're talking about websites, you, you definitely want to get some live scroll through as opposed to static screens. Um, the, the live scroll through just looks way better and it shows a bit of the website's functionality too. Um, you just got to make sure it's a polished website, obviously, which this one is, it's a pretty good website. So Buyers and sellers transact with ease while knowing that we're here to help every step of the way. Whether you fly for a living, you need aircraft for your business, or you fly recreationally, we trust you'll enjoy using our website and brokerage services, and we look forward to meeting you very soon. Inquire today at lightaircraftsales.com.au. I really wanted to make it sound like, it's a little gimmicky, I really wanted to make it sound like, you know, it was coming through the headset. Um, so I just literally, what did that scratch you So I just got my phone on voice record and just like put it in there because um, the Bluetooth stuff, you know, is not great for, interfering with, I, I didn't want to take any risks, you know, up in a small airplane. I didn't want to, you know, it's like flight mode and everything. So um, uh, I just used my iPhone on airplane mode and just um, hit the voice record button and got him to just yell that out. Uh, and then I put it in uh, Adobe Audition and added, uh, I think it was like boxing announcer or something was the preset. I just did that um, and, I, and it came out really well. So I, I thought that was a nice cheeky little- Lightaircraftsale.com.au classic transition with the brand colors a bit of a classic zoom there but um all in all pretty happy with it another satisfied client another great video in my humble opinion don't want to toot my own horn <laughs> if you think i missed anything or you have any suggestions about how you would shoot in airplanes or, or aircraft please leave it in the comments leave a like subscribe uh, and i guess i'll see you on the next torched director's cut